everyone to another episode of Reese's Roundup. I am your host, the Lightning Kid himself, and today we're by ourselves. It's been it's been a while since we've uh, since we've been all alone in the car. But in case you guys have missed it, I did a predictions video with Chris. If you haven't checked that out yet, and I interviewed people at the Super Bowl in Miami, my hometown. If you guys haven't seen that yet either, go ahead and check those videos out. But for today's video, let's talk about the NBA trades that happened and how these teams are going to fare with their new players. Starting with the Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets traded Clint Capella and a 2020 second round pick to the Atlanta Hawks. This was a part of a like 32 team trade between the Hawks, the Nuggets, the Rockets, the Miami Marlins, the New York Giants, like everybody was involved in this trade. But uh, in all seriousness, the Rockets finally got rid of Clint Capella. I don't know why they wanted to get rid of Clint Capella. He was their only center. So now they're playing their their next tallest guy on the team is like six foot six. So how they're going to work that out, I have no idea. They already beat the Lakers. Was it the Lakers? They beat they beat somebody recently after the trade. So maybe it'll work, but I don't think it's gonna it's gonna affect them positively through for the long term. The Rockets, in return, get a 2020 first round pick. A 2024 second round pick, Bruno Caboclo, Robert Covington, a 2024 second round pick, and a 2023 second round pick. Does this sound familiar? This sounds just like the Oakland, the Oakland, the, 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 the any, are you okay? The OKC Thunder trade that happened not too long ago where they just got 100,000 picks in their in their trade but let me know what you guys think about how the rockets will do throughout the rest of the season and into the playoffs with pretty much no center also i wanted to mention that the nuggets get gerald green and a 2020 first round pick from the rockets in that 86 team trade next we got the detroit pistons trading surprisingly andre drummond to the Cleveland Cavaliers. This this one really this one was a real big shocker. Not only for for who they traded, but for where he went. Like, why would you send Andre Drummond to Cleveland? First of all, why would Cleveland even want Andre Drummond? They're not going to be they're not going to win anytime soon. Let's just or ever, <laughs> now that LeBron's gone. So why why get Andre Drummond? He's a really good center. He can get you rebounds. He's a, he's really good defensively. Maybe uh, His contract is expiring, so maybe they'll want to keep him in the long term, but I just don't see wanting to get rid of Andre Drummond. Maybe they'll get him back in the off season and this is just a move to free up some money so that way they can get in new players and then, you know, when they when the season starts or, you know, after the season's over, they'll give him a new contract or something crazy like that. But I just don't see if if that's not the case, then I have no idea why Detroit would get rid of pretty much their star player. In return, the Pistons get Brandon Knight back and a 2023 second round pick. So not really much of a, not really much of something in return, you know, and, for Andre Drummond, especially if you're getting Brandon Knight. I didn't even know that guy was still playing. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But that, that was definitely a questionable move for, for Detroit. Next, we got... The Golden State Warriors trading D'Angelo Russell to the Minnesota Timberwolves. This one was another shocker. I don't know, because they signed him to like a big four-year, $100 million deal. They expected it, everything to work out between, you know, having him, Klay Thompson, 
Draymond Green, Steph Curry. Like that was going to be a really interesting starting five to see, but they never, it never went through. So it makes me wonder, like, why get D'Angelo Russell? And what I thought originally was they only got him because Klay Thompson got hurt, and he's he's not coming back for the rest of the season. It seems like so just have D'Angelo Russell for now until Klay Thompson comes back. Then you trade away D'Lo or something crazy like that. But to sign him to a four-year deal just to trade him in five months? Like, that doesn't really make much sense. But the Timberwolves are definitely going to use him way better than the Warriors did. So we'll see how that goes. In return, the Warriors get Andrew Wiggins, a 2021 first-round pick, a 2020 second-round pick, a 2021 second round two, 20, two 2021 second round picks and a 2022 second round pick. So the Warriors do get a lot in return just for, you know, D'Angelo Russell, but it's it's still it's still mind-boggling to see like, yo, let's just get rid of the guy that was basically doing everything for our team when nobody when everybody else was hurt. Next, you got the Los Angeles Clippers trading Maurice Harkless and a 2020 first round pick, a 2021 first round pick, and a 2021 second round pick to the New York Knicks. That's a lot of picks because all the all the Clippers got in return was Marcus Morris. I don't know why they wanted Marcus Morris. I don't think he's all that to be honest and I think Mo Harkless is kind of a better player if, if I'm being serious. So all those picks and a really decent bench player for Marcus Morris. I don't know what the Clippers were thinking on that end, but. Last but not least, the Memphis Grizzlies finally traded Andre Iguodala to the Miami Heat. And in that return, the Memphis Grizzlies also traded Jay Crowder and a 2023 second round pick to Miami and in return they get Dion Waiters and Justice Winslow. Now, not really much of a of a return for Iguodala, but the Grizzlies have been trying to get rid of him for God knows how long. So they finally got their wish. Iggy is gone. I don't think he's gonna do too well on the Heat. He's he's just gonna eat some minutes, play a little bit of defense, not really score too much. So the Heat, I, and, and the Heat gave him $30 million. Like, I don't know what, I don't know why the Heat were so invested on getting Iguodala, but I, I understand why the Grizzlies were so invested on trading him. It was just a matter of who wanted him, and I guess the Heat were, you know, <laughs> crazy enough to go after him. But let me know what you guys think. What do you think of all the crazy trades that happened this week? Leave it in the comment section and let me know let me know what you guys want to see for the next video. Don't forget to check out my podcast, the Reese's Roundup Podcast. I upload it to Spotify, Apple Podcasts every Tuesday and Thursday. So go ahead and give that a listen and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.